reset. What's going on, YouTube? It's Rabid Marksman, and today I'm bringing you my top five tips and tricks on how to get better at Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, so this gameplay is on Uplink, which is my favorite uh, game mode, and it's a new game mode actually that they just uh, put in for Black Ops 3. And yeah, a lot of people are playing this game right now. Um, this is like one of the biggest Call of Duty games in a while. So I'm going to tell you how you can get better and improve your uh, skill level on this game. So let's get right into it. My first tip is stop climbing on the uh, walls. So a lot of people, they, uh, what I mean by that is wall running. A lot of people, they just constantly wall run and they constantly die. Like a lot of people I see are going like 2 and 8, 2 and 11, stuff like that. And I look at where they're going and all they're doing is going on the uh, wall running spots. And why this is so bad is because a lot of the wall running spots are exposed to enemy fire. Like they're really open and um, it's just it's just not a good place to be, especially if you can't aim and aim, shoot and keep your momentum on the wall. It, it's a hard thing to do and a lot of people can't do it at the start. So I'd recommend not wall running as much until you fully get used to it and maybe do it. I don't know, I, I don't even wall run a ton. I mean, I can aim and shoot and keep the momentum, but it's still a bad spot to be in. And that's why you see a lot of people going negative when they're wall running all the time. So, um, that was my first tip. My second tip would be cook your grenade. See right here how I cook this grenade? You don't want to just put out your grenade and throw it. Because if you just throw it, most likely it'll roll by an enemy. And an enemy will have like four to five seconds to easily react and just get out of the way of the grenade and they won't get hit. But the difference is if you cook it, then they walk around the corner and they only have one second to react if, if it's cooked right for like four seconds. Then what happens is they just die because they, they don't have enough time to react. They can't react that fast. So that's why it's good to cook your grenades instead of just throwing them. Um, some techs is obviously a different thing because you don't have to cook those because they just automatically they automatically uh, blow up in a couple seconds and you can't cook them or anything but for frag grenades I really recommend cooking them because it'll help your uh, help out your grenade kills a lot and um, yeah so that's my second tip and you'd actually be surprised how many people don't cook their grenades that's why I'm only putting this in so um another tip is don't chase your enemies a lot of people, what they do is they'll see someone, they walk around the corner, and they'll chase them. And what happens is you're you're so focused on that one person that you forget what's going on around you, and you end up getting killed. So I I definitely wouldn't recommend chasing people unless maybe in search and destroy. If um if there's like one guy left and you see him, maybe chase him down. But even if I wouldn't I wouldn't really chase him because he might be sound whoring and you might not have dead silence on or something. If you don't know what sound horning is, it's pretty much just um, playing with a nice headset and like listening to footsteps and stuff so you know where they are. So he might be sound horning and he might know that you're behind him and just turn around and pick you off, you know? Like turn around, camp in a corner and pick you off. So I definitely don't recommend chasing people. And don't, especially on objective games, because that's when people are, um, that's when people like uplink and stuff and you're just chasing somebody. There's so much chaos going around you. That I, I just wouldn't chase people because you'll end up dying before you get the kill. Even if you get the kill, it's not worth it because most likely you'll die in the process. So I definitely don't recommend chasing enemies. And this is one of one of the main tips. These last two tips are the uh, most important. The last one especially in my opinion. But this one right here is your classes. It's good to have good classes. I mean... It's good to have the right gun with the right attachments. For example, submachine guns, you're going to close close range uh, gun battles, right? So it's good to have quick draw on most of them, um, if not all of them. So I have quick draw on like, all my submachine guns. It's just, if you don't understand like what attachments to put on what guns, I definitely watch some YouTube videos on the best guns, the best attachments, and stuff like that. Because your classes are what you kill people with. If you don't have good classes, then you won't be killing people. You know, so I recommend getting good classes. Uh, definitely try everything out. See what works best for you. Some somebody's class may not work for you. Maybe your gameplay style isn't like theirs. You know, just try stuff out. Try a lot of attachments and 
try and get better at the game. So, this last tip is the most important tip in my opinion. This is actually a button layout, and this button layout is called Bumper Jumper. <laughs> yeah, Bumper Jumper. It sounds a little funny at first, but what it does is it allows you to use the X button with L1 and then throw your tacticals and, um, like your uh, tacticals like concussions and smokes and stuff with X. Now, this may take a while to get used to, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to jump shot. Like, watch here. I'm gonna go around this corner and watch, I'm gonna jump shot him. I'm gonna do my jump and boost. Same with that. I do my jump and boost while shooting. And you won't be able to do this with X because you have to take your finger off of your uh, right thumbstick and put it on X to jump, unless you play claw. But personally, this way is better than claw, in my opinion. Because you don't have to move any of your fingers, you can just always be um, jumping and shooting. It's, if you don't know what a scuff is, it's pretty much like a scuff but like uh, not like it doesn't have paddles or anything but it's like it does what a scuff kind of does but a lot less as good as a scuff but a lot better than a normal controller you know so it's like intermediate this is what I use this and this is how I get a lot of my one-on-one -on -one close uh, quarters for gun battles and everything I just I always do this jump shot so that's my number one tip and uh, if you like this video definitely like and if you uh, want to see more subscribe and definitely uh, leave a comment below as well so um, that's about it for this video there's one more thing that I have a little bonus clip for you guys I thought this was really funny so I'm gonna put this as the clip of the day um, I might be doing this more putting like a little clip of the day at the end of my videos but here it is right here I thought this was funny we have the satellite.